Okay. Okay. So, if you could introduce yourself first, um, at least your name, but then you can do whatever else you want to do. Okay. Uh, my name is Sarah Jacqueline Scarpino. Oh, oh sorry. Pause. What's going on? I just realized the air conditioning oh, is going on. That is going to make noise. I hate that thing. What do I say? I should just be honest. Okay. Yeah. My name is Sarah Jacqueline Scarpino and I'm an artist and a pre-art therapy student but I'm mostly a child of God and a dreamer and a creator and a free spirit so that and I guess a budding ceramicist that's kind of stretching it far but <laughs> that's how I would introduce myself <laughs> That one's like a real thing. I really yeah. lean toward anything that I can get my hands on, anything I can feel like clay or um, pastels or paint or something that I can really immerse myself into what I'm making and I can put myself in it and I can feel what's going on and happening. I can put my, um, my energy into the work that I'm making. How I process things, I really need to um, get it out of my head. I love faces, I really love doing portraiture. But then when I go to paint, I, I kind of get scared. And so I make, I'll, I'll normally just lean toward like abstract um, clouds or just a, just essentially like things that I'm feeling. You know, I, I always have such like an energy. I just want to like get it out. <laughs> I just want to get it out all the time for the rest of my life. I want to create paintings like this forever. I was born an artist. Can I share that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the Lord told me, Sarah, I made you an artist. I want you to be that. I would like paint and I would like make things out of trash or like dirt huts outside and like little leaves and sticks. And so I was always making something growing up. Coming into high school, I was I was terrible student. Like, um, I struggle with like learning disability of like ADHD, and I just couldn't focus at home, and it was really hard. But when I got to high school, I really wanted to belong, so I started investing in my education. I went to three high schools, and the third one was very much education based. Their intentions were in the right place; they were trying to prepare us for college, but. I almost felt like being an artist wasn't okay because everyone was either a nurse, a doctor, or a teacher. I started just thinking like, what could I do with art and kids? Like, that's the only thing I'm good at. Those are the only things I'm good at. Like, what could I do with that? And I was just started thinking like, it's not enough. It, and wanting to fit in with other people and really just losing who I was, which was like the free spirit artist girl that I came in as. I ended up leaving the school as like very, put together, I thought. I took a year off from high school, then I did an SM year in Hungary. I remember one day I was walking and it was the most beautiful day. It was spring and the light was shining and the trees were singing. That's how I like to describe like, cause God told me like, trees are singing, they're praising me despite all storm. So I'm walking and I'm just looking up at the trees and the sun's just like, diamonds in my eyes and this is what it was like for me and I just felt I just felt the Lord tell me like Sarah I made you to experience these things like this on purpose I didn't make you a teacher I didn't make you a doctor I didn't make you a nurse I made you an artist I want you to be an artist and I was like wow I was like I am who I'm supposed to be born in the image of God like the Lord's like be brave in the art making that that you have in the way that no one else does it like you but do it that's why like art and beauty and emotion is so important to me because the lord helped me find him through accepting who he made me to be that was like a really big step in actually knowing god because when i stopped 
trying to be who I thought he wanted, I found who he really was by being who I really am. I found who I really was looking at him, not who the world thought, not what sin could distort about me, um, but what he made me, who he made me to be. So, yeah. That was really beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. For sure. I love how you see the world too. Yes. I, I love the way I see the world. Too. I yeah, it's beautiful. It's oh, beautiful. thank you. Praise um, God. And it kind of goes into the next question, which I know the answer to this question is going to be yes. <laughs> but if you could explain even maybe a little bit more, um, do you find any inspiration in the Bible, in nature, and or from God himself? Yes. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> How did I know? How did she know? I am always inspired by nature. I am always, always inspired by beauty. When I think of blue, I think of like this like rich deep blue from the ocean while sailing like i had this like mental picture of me and my best friend sailing putting our feet in the water and having the most joyous moment of togetherness this color came into my mind was this deep blue and i associate that with joy and like joy and sorrow when i'm making work i am trying to have a dialogue with god the one behind me is and it's called like come to the garden and the lord has really been talking to me about sarah just stay in my garden observing the nature around you and how beautiful it is and how i've put my glory in flowers and i've put my glory in trees and if people take the time to stop and look at it and listen and observe and breathe you know, the Holy Spirit comes to those places. A lot of times when I'm making this honest work, I get really confronted um, with different rooted lies in my heart. Will people like it? Will it be enough? Is this ugly? Those are roots in my heart that the Lord is uprooting and my continuing to paint anyways is God working with me to show me I am enough. It is beautiful. It will come out the way he desires because I'm trusting him while I'm making it. And whether or not people like it is something that I'm learning how to let go of and letting him just speak to people through what I'm making or speak, speak to me. What I've noticed is that a lot of artists, they just want to make things, and but they don't want to go any deeper. And that always bothers me. But like, you know, everyone has their own niche and so I, I'm okay with that, it's fine. I always like to challenge other artists and be like, where is you in this? And maybe that's not the point of their art. Maybe their art is about making other people, but the Lord made us so expressive. And when a human being has his spirit ignited within them, they have become the identity and the person that they're meant to be. Like the beautiful parts about them just explode with joy. I want to see your beauty. I want to see what God put in you. Like I, I want to see you. When it comes to the Bible, I love God's word. And I when when you asked that, when that you said with the Bible, I immediately thought of Ruth. I feel like a part of my story was that I was really gleaning for love, like Ruth was gleaning for wheat. And Boaz saw Ruth and was like, you are beautiful. I'm gonna give you loads of love, loads of wheat. I'm gonna give you a home. I'm gonna give you an identity that you already have because I've seen it. And it's just free, take it, it's yours. And that's what the Lord it's what my Lord, my Jesus did with me. Sarah, this is your love. Like, you don't have to take this plate of food and give it, give me back the plate. Like, that's your plate of love. This is your house. You don't have to glean anymore. I'm right here. I'm the, the full. <sighs> so I think when I'm painting, I'm embracing God's love for me. I'm saying, I feel like a mess a lot of the time. And I'm letting the Lord see that. And I'm receiving that wheat. I'm not picking up little bits of wheat anymore. I'm coming into the house of God. So I'm in my father's house and I'm saying, I'm a princess here. I belong here. And so when I'm painting, I'm working through what sin and brokenness tried to steal. And I'm receiving the healing that I'm meant to have.
have. God is just about having a relationship with you. That's all he's about. Doctrine and interpretation and theology, like those things come later because they're important to God, but he's more centered around relationships. So when I make art, it's centered around relationship because relationship with Father is my identity. I don't know if you'll include this, but I want to encourage you is that if you feel like your relationship with God isn't in a good place, God is committed to his relationship with you. So you can be a Gomer, but the Lord is Hosea and he's committed and he will always go back and take you home like without fail. And so if you think of your relationship with God as a relationship and not a contract, you'll be able to do things like make honest art as an example and receive the healing from God where it's not that you are. He, Jesus said, I no longer call you a servant, but a friend. So come to God as friend. Essentially, this all relates to art making and friendship with God and beauty. What do you hope? in the ideal future for art to become in the church? Allowing art to be honest. Yeah. Not putting art in a box and saying, oh, art ha it has to fit this criteria. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean that other people won't identify with it and that God doesn't understand it. We should ask God what kind of art we should be making. We should be asking him, what kind of art should we be allowing in our churches that's not just a picture of the cross? Because there was a resurrection. How can we paint joy? I hope that my art really shows people that God just wants them. He doesn't want who you think you have to be, or who you had to be, or who the pastor wants, or who your uncle wanted, or your mom or your dad. He wants you. And he knows how to make you beautiful but he's okay with you right now he's not gonna leave you there but he accepts you as you he doesn't want the perfect Christian he doesn't want the perfect this he doesn't want anything you thought you were or had to be he just wants you and if you're brave enough to come as you he will receive that and then his love and light and beauty is just what radiates off of you and things fall off and you become who you're meant to be. And I believe that my art is a picture of God's okay with process. People will, although they can misunderstand abstract expressionism or I say it looks like something else, I pray that they'll, they'll feel touched by the Holy Spirit to get in touch with their heart and mind reconnecting and that they will take the time to think about past hurt or healing and that they will take the time to to look at the face of God and have that awestruck moment that I get to have every day where I say, wow, you really want me. You really want me. And it's beautiful to you. And I hope that my art will show people to that they can be real with God and that they can hold out their heart to Him and He won't kick it. He won't tell it it's not enough and He won't push it down that he's after their heart. Yay! <laughs> that was amazing. Mm -hmm.